Now, uh, this lab exercise assumes that you've installed ADS in your system and you've also licensed your ADS. So today, we'll be looking at how to navigate through ADS, which is an ad advanced design system. We also need to look at how to create workspace and, of course, the schematic circuit. We need to build a bumper filter, uh, which you can see here. I have a sample bumper filter I've designed. We need to build this and, of course, run the simulation and display the result. So at the end of this exercise, we should be able to achieve uh, this result. So to get started, we need to uh, launch ADS. So how do we uh, launch ADS? I can just type ADS here, ADS. You can see on my system that I have ADS 2022 installed. So if I click on this, I should be able to uh, launch my ADS. So if you have uh, any later version, you can still um, uh, work on this. So long as you have ADS from 2011 up to date, you should be fine with this exercise. Now I close this window. And um, the next first thing I need to do is to create a workspace. A workspace is basically how ADS organizes uh, its, its files into folders. So it's basically a, a, form, a kind of folder used in ADS. To do that, all I need to do is go to File menu, click on File, you'll see where it says New Workspace. So you click on the New Workspace, you have this window. Now the next thing we need to do is to give the workspace a name. Now. In your workspace name, please make sure you do not have any space. You can use underscores or just type uh, the names with make sure there's no space. So I'm going to call this uh, workspace that I'm creating now, I'm going to call it test um, band pass filter. So let's give it that name. I can say test band pass filter one. Okay. So I'm going to click on create workspace. So as soon as I click on create workspace, you will see that here I have now a folder named test band pass filter one. So this folder is where ADS will um, collect all the work I will do in this workspace. So if I need to locate the workspace, I need to go back and open um, this folder. So the next thing I need to do now is to create a schematic window. Okay. So there are two ways I can do that. And go back to file new you see it says schematic okay another way to do it is to just click on the shortcut here if you look at this you see it says new schematic window so i'm going to use the shortcut when i click on the shortcut you will see the, the, the window is already there now i need to give it a name so for this particular um word i'm going to say again make sure there is no space i'm going to say circuit and pass filter so that's the name i want to give to this um, um uh, schematic so i'm going to say create schematic now when you click on create schematic you have this uh, blank schematic window this is where we are going to build uh, our design don't forget we have this design i showed you at the start which is what we are going to build so i'm going to build this design uh, on the schematic window so i'll go back to the my schematic window to build that design, the first thing you need to do is look at the object palette here. This is where you pick your components. So you can actually select category of components you want to pick. For now, we want to start working with um, uh, the lump elements. I'm going to click on lump components, which is resistors, capacitors, inductors. Now, if you go back to our circuit here, you realize that we we'll have the PLCs, which is the um, parallel inductance and capacitance. And here we have the SLC series inductance and capacitance. So we need to collect these components and place them on our workspace. So here we see I have the um, PLC. I can click one of the PLCs. I just need one, so I click once. Now I can have more if I want, but I only need one. So I can, for example, if I click a second time, I have number two, number three, and so on. Now to stop this command. Just need to click on um, the the end command here, or you just press escape on your keyboard. Okay, and because I need only one of these, I can just click on select the second one and press delete on my keyboard. Delete that. Now, if you, again looking at this design, you see that I have this vertical, not horizontal. 
So all you need to do is click on this and rotate or just right click on it just say rotate or you can just do ctrl r so if i rotate it, it becomes vertical the way i want it now next i need to collect my slc is the series inductance and capacitance escape i have slc now the next thing i need to get is determination from the input and the output side so i go back to uh, my other palette here i'll get that under parameter so i have a parameter here you can see my termination is there so i'm going to click one to the input side and one to the output side again i escape now i like to use the line here to guide me to make sure i have everything uh, on us well arranged i mean just for aesthetics it doesn't mean anything but um aesthetics so i have all of this this is my output so now I need to wire my circuit. To connect my circuit, I can see here that there's a wire here. Click on the wire assemble there, and then you can connect your circuit. So I can wire my circuit um, and wire my circuit. That's, that's all done for me. Now I need to ground each component. Again, go back to the diagram you see, we need to ground each component here. So to ground my components, I go back here and See the ground uh, symbol is there. Insert ground, so I can insert ground. I side ground there, and of course I insert ground. Again, you escape. Now, the next thing we need to do is to add the simulation um, control. The simulation controller is what we have there. The S parameter, so that is actually there. So I click on this. So that's my simulation control. Okay next thing is to enter the values based on your design it would have made this design with all the analysis and you have the values so if you're looking at my circuit i i can type in my values which i got for my design here i have a zero uh, point eighteen eighty one and then for the capacitance value i have um uh, twenty seven point twelve twelve ninety eight all in farad so that's fine the SLC, I have the inductance as 55.5512, 55.5512 nanohenry, that's fine. Uh, the capacitance value for SLC, I have uh, 0 0.0675, 0 0.0675 gigafarad, that's fine. Uh, at the output side, I have my um, uh, impedance to be 40.95. Uh, uh, 40.95. You can see that this is um uh this is a bumper filter, a two pole bumper filter. This is pole number one, pole number two. So we have this uh, input side, the output side. Now the simulation controller is basically used to tell um um the, 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 the simulation window where to start the simulation and where to end it. So I want to start my simulation based on my design from 2.2 gigahertz i have to end it at um, 3.0 gigahertz now for the step size it's good to have is a, a smaller step size to ensure you have uh, your, a better result so i'm going to change this to uh, megahertz so at this point i've done all my setting if you want to center your simulation, just click on the center this button here. So this is uh, the view all. The view all button centers your simulation. You can of course use your mouse center button to zoom in and zoom out as as you as you want it to look like. Okay. So this is what I have now. Next step is for me to uh, run my simulation. Everything is done. To run my simulation, what I need to do is look at this button here the gear button here is basically the simulate button alternatively you can press f7 on your keyboard to run your simulation so i'm going to simulate my results now the simulation is complete and i have this window which is what we call the uh, data display window this is where i need to capture my result if i need to plot for smith chart that's a symbol there for this experiment exercise today, we are going to be plotting, uh, having a rectangular plot. So when I click that, 
uh, we have looking at a two port device, a filter, input side, output side. So we we'll click on S11. We want it to be in, uh, yeah, double click on S11 and then select the B. And you double click on S21 and you select uh, your DB, which is what we want. If you say OK, you will have the result. You see, so this is basically what we 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 are actually uh, looking for. Um, you can again zoom in out the way you want it. You can even change the side, um, the thickness of this line by just clicking clicking on the line. You can change the side. If I want it to be uh, one, just put one point zero or just one, and say okay. You can see the line gets thicker. You can do the same here. I can make it one as well at 1.0 and say okay so that is how you can basically play with this the way you want now we have this result all we need to do is to make sure that we have saved it okay you close this window um uh, close this window and then make sure you save this now when you see the asterisks at the top here it means this work is not saved so i'm going to click save and i can also close this window now, now looking at my um space you see now i have the schematic uh and uh, the, the display for the results all captured in the workspace so that is basically uh, the end of the exercise for today if you decide to view your result double click on the result you get back your result you can also double click on the schematic to view your circuit now uh, that is basically where we are going to end uh the work for today do not forget to um, um subscribe to this channel and of course click um, the notification button to ensure you, you you get notified each time i upload a new um, practical activity so we'll be having a lot of videos and all of them will be based on ads so make sure you subscribe to the channel good luck to continue with your microwave engineering studies bye